I think they beat us loose balls. Um, they um, played uh, just a little bit more desperation than we did, and um, it's just I think when you play with that sense of desperation, um, everything matters, and um, we just kind of come back and uh, just get back to that mindset that we had in game one, and uh, just move forward. How do you find the edge that way? Because if you look at if you if you're just talking about that, it's like you guys had that in game one. They had it in game two. Mm -hmm. So if now we're even, how do you win that game in game three? Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to come down to the little things. Um, you know, obviously putting the points on the board and all that stuff. Uh, obviously, that's how you win the game. But it's the little things that that's going to matter. And um, we got to go out there and uh, you know, compete for 50-50 balls. Um, do all the hustle plays and um, just kind of just keep, have each other's back out there. And uh, it's just it's going to be a long, long game, and we just got to go out there and fight. How do you Absolutely. describe the mental toughness that goes into these series in terms of having to be so focused on every single possession? Yeah, it's um, it's tough. It's why the playoffs are the playoffs, and um, a series can um, not feel like an eternity. But uh, it's all about how you process one possession at a time, how you not take care of the ball one possession at a time and um you can't really look too far ahead to anything, you know, you just gotta focus on uh, the time being. Well you're you're calm always on the court, but how much are you looking forward to your first game with Garden? What do you expect from this this build? Yeah, I'm I'm very excited. Um it's gonna be a, a great place to play. It's always been uh, the best place to play in the league and um it's gonna be unreal. And um I just know that it's gonna be an electric atmosphere. And um, just ready to get out there and play. Do you think game two, in terms of the turnover, some of the tips that you felt like you guys had a lot of open shots that you missed, was that the struggle offensively in game two? Do you think that was more you guys maybe just not playing as well as you can, or was it the way they defended? Um, mixture of both. Uh, they had a game plan. They executed it pretty well, and especially in that second quarter, they turned us over a lot, and then they got up to a 20-point lead. Um, Obviously, they extend it in a little bit in the third, but I think what really got us was that second quarter. And, um, yeah, we can't have laws like that. And um, we did a lot of good things throughout the game, but, um, you know, we got to play for a full 48. Jalen, it seems like the more pressure there is, the calmer you kind of become. I mean, is that, is that a fair statement? I try, yes. So how is that like, – how have you been able to get to that place as a player? Because a lot of, a lot of guys kind of strive to get to that place but can't quite get there. Yeah, I, I don't want to say I'm, I've mastered that. But um, I think I do a great job of trying to, you know, be calm in those situations. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's very difficult because, you know, it's uh, a lot at stake. You know, you're trying to do the best for your team. You're not trying to let your teammates down, most importantly. Um, I think for me, it comes from my confidence, and it comes to the confidence my teammates have in me and I have in them. And um, I just try and keep that as level as possible so I'm, I'm in the right, right state of mind. Are you able to just kind of shut everything out in those moments, like where it's just you, the ball, your teammates, and you're operating in a space where nothing else enters your mind? I mean, I, I do my best to get to that point. Um, it's... Uh, not necessarily going to happen all the time, but um, it's all about your focus. It's all about your confidence, your preparation, and um, just knowing that uh, I have my teammates back, they have my back, and we're just going to sit together, and um, that's pretty much it. Do you do like mindfulness stuff, training, to be able to operate at that level? Um, I have before, but um, I think it's what comes uh, natural to me is the people who I have around me. Now they keep me level-headed. Um, never get me too high. Never get me too low. Um, for a better part of my career, I've talked to a sports psychologist, and uh, he's been a he's been a great help of mine. And um, but uh, it's just it's all about how you prepare yourself, and I try to prepare myself as best I can. Thank you.